everyone. I'm Mo. And I'm Katie. And this is The, the Mo, Mo and Katie, Katie Show. If you have tuned in for breaking world news, you're in the wrong place. Um, and we do have breaking news, but it's going to be different than the kind of news you're going to get somewhere else because I dare say it's going to be a little quirky. Can I use that word? Quirky? I think you just did. But, but our goal today is to share a little bit of gratitude, humor, and positivity with you. So, um... Buckle up, because here we go. I'm along for the ride, I know. Okay. It's just a lap belt, it's not a, okay. We do want to talk a little bit about what's going on in the world, so yes. why don't you kick us off with uh, what is going on in the world? What's going on what in the world? world is going on in the world? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> All right, so there's, I thought this was cool. There's an industrial designer named Doug Dietz. Doug. Doug, Mr. Doug. Mr. And he Doug. created an MR, like a uh, magnetic resonance I'm adventure so, discovery series. I'm so impressed that you know that. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging Jeez. and CT scans. But he did one for for kids, and he used um, he worked with um, G Healthcare and University of Pittsburgh, and so he made these adventure environments, and he used aromatherapy and calming decorations. Aww. Like okay, here's two of them That's that were cool. cool. So instead of telling the kid that they've got to lay in this machine with mm -hmm. this loud banging and all that stuff, stuff for like 30 yeah, minutes, those things are not like, move. Yeah, I'd, no thank you. He has one where you lay in a canoe and he tells the kids they have to lay still so they don't rock the boat. Oh, that's so cute. That's awesome. See, like little animated frogs jumping over? I don't, that would be awesome. Unless you're afraid of frogs. Are um, they, like, is there a roller coaster one? No. That would be what? cool. I'm sorry. I Here, lay still. <laughs> Hands up! I mean, don't. Yeah, no, it's loud and you're gonna oh. vomit. It's not like the teacups. But there's another one. It's really There's cool. another one. It's like a camping environment, and they has a Aww. tent, and there's a, like a special sleeping bag that they get into, and they look at stars and stuff. That's like that. really cool. Yeah, I just think it was cool. That's Thank you for Doug Dietz, G Thanks. Healthcare, Thanks, and the Doug. University of Pittsburgh. University of Pittsburgh. The good folks of Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh is in Pennsylvania. It's not the capital though. Harrisburg is. Yeah, we won't be anyway. doing geography. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, speaking of of kids that are cool. That's my segue. Wow. There is a young lady named Zayla. Her last name is Avant-Garde. Nice. That's, is she a fencer? No, she's not. She is a basketball player. Oh, is she a point guard? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Sports ball. Um, she just set the Guinness World Record for um, dribbling three <laughs> basketballs oh, dribbling. 231 times in one minute. And it's called bounce juggling. So it's, I think, like where they bounce them off mm -hmm. the floor. She she did that 230 times in one minute. And the previous in world record in, in 60 seconds. Previous world record was 213. And so she trained it. It was her 13th birthday present to herself was to she break She was only like 13? 13. And she's been dribbling basketball since she was five years old. And this has been her goal for the last. Well, that's kind of cool. I know. I, so is the last name avant-garde. That's what you're focusing on? I, well, I'm sorry. Just, sports ball? It caught my, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for doing attention. a sports ball uh, article. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Don't expect it all the time because... Nope, that was just not my strong, time we're get not my strong suit. Yeah, so if you didn't come here for world news or sports ball <laughs> updates. <laughs> Moving on, um, I have a question for you. Are, I know that you are a cereal aficionado. You I like am. cereal. I am. I do. Um, and you know that I like cereal as well, but I eat cereal like a seven-year-old because I because like... Because you choose seven-year-old what, options. What, is, what are some of my favorite Captain cereals? Crunch. Crunch berries. Crunch berries. Thank you. But another one of my Why favorites... Why do I know that? I don't, just... You know that because... Um, I've watched you eat a lot of Captain Crunch berries. Yes. Um, another one of my favorites, though, are Fruit Loops. I can see that. Yeah, I like Fruit Loops a lot. Okay. Um, do you like Fruit Loops, first of all? I mean, who doesn't? They're like, it's like candy. I feel like the answer is yes. <laughs> I love fruit. Loops. And they have all different kinds of colors, right? Yeah. So what would be like your favorite color? Purple. Purple? Yeah. And do you feel like the purple would taste better than like the orange one or the yellow one? Or It should. It's purple. It should taste like grape. You know what? They're all the I'm same right. flavor. Oh. They're all, all the Fruit Loops are the same flavor. That's kind of messes with your head. <laughs> The only well, the, the ones only, I eat. There's an are exception. Not. There's some that's called like wild berry Fruit Loops. Those have different flavors, but just your standard primary. Well, they're not primary colors. Primary and secondary colored Fruit Loops, Toucan Sam, the whole thing, all taste the same. In a blind taste test, you would not know the difference. Well, I'm not blind, so the ones I have had taste differently. Mm, yeah, mm -mm. they do. They do. All right, well, you can so take it what, What's your internet? source? Is that, oh, the internet's <laughs> the your source? Internet is, my... is it the makers of Fruit Loops or the blind people that you eat know, Fruit Loops? You know what I can't do? <laughs> you know what I can't do is, um, 
You know, they take like vanilla wafers and make them different colors. Have you ever seen that? No. When my, when my kids were little, they'd have in the store like the vanilla wafers and they'd be like purple and red. I can't eat, the, or goldfish crackers, they do the same oh, thing. Oh yeah, I've seen goldfish But they all taste the same. I can't eat them. It like messes with my head. Like I can't put a red goldfish in my mouth and exp it's just weird. I can't. Are we still talking about the crackers or the actual goldfish? Oh, I never tried to eat a real goldfish. Okay. <laughs> That's probably, I, just, I feel like I should clarify. It's frowned upon by civil society unless you're joining like a fraternity or something well, or in a sushi bar so oh, well, that's true uh, you know, so. i'll have the unagi and goldfish <laughs> i'm the goldfish roll <laughs> a little ginger little soy sauce and a lot of wasabi <laughs> ew i'll have the uh beta fish <laughs> and the unagi i have a beta fish don't eat my beta fish well that's why we're not at your house okay. wow that went wow. Uh, yeah so that's what's going on like in the world turn. is that what's going on in the world well no, that was just wacky. That was wacky. Yeah. That was that was a wacky weird fact. <laughs> so, um, is it wrong one thing I feel bad for one thing watching. <laughs> but thank you for watching. One I thing that it. um that Mo likes, she likes obscure weird holidays. Yes. Yes. I do. So, will you tell us what what's a weird holiday for today? Well, Joe, I'm glad you said <laughs> I'm glad you asked because what I would like to tell you okay. is that today is International Joe Day. So for people that don't like their names, like you can legally go get it changed and that's fun. But on the 27th of March, you can just go by the name Joe. We don't know the like official that. origins, but um, what's the correct spelling? J O E. National Isn't Joe the Day. E now, if you option? if you if you don't like your like name coffee. and you want the the what coffee Joe, maybe it's like coffee Joe is spelled J O E. Yes. Right. But I'm excited because you made a coffee reference. Or I made a coffee reference. <laughs> I'll take credit for it. That's, <laughs> that's going to make you happy. Um, no, but so if you're like your female and you want to be called Joe, you could be called Josephine or Jody. Oh, that's or nice. Joe. Or just Joe. Joe. Like, from Facts of Life. Joe. Take the good, you take the bad, check. you take them both and then. I don't think I can spell Pull the Check. Could you? Why are we spelling it? I don't know. I, that's right. Anyway, Joe. Happy <laughs> Joe Day. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> thank Back you. to you, Joe. <laughs> I end over to you, Joe. And to all the Joes watching, thank you. For all the for all the Joes watching. Um, one thing that Mo and I really enjoy doing are escape rooms. Oh, yeah. So from time to time, we would like to share with you our escape room experiences and adventures. And we're not going to assume everybody out there knows what an escape room is or has done one before. So hey, what, is there, what, is there a non-terrifying way to explain an escape room? <laughs> no, let's give it a shot. <laughs> so an escape room is where you pay to be locked in a room. <laughs> is that about right? No, you, um, yeah. you well, it's, that's true. You, uh, you go into a room and they have a certain theme or scenario. And you have to use your problem-solving skills to undo multiple or, or locks. Or be with people and with problem-solving skills. Yes, you don't have your own problem-solving skills. Just bring some friends that or do. Or at least with an option to buy. <laughs> That's right. You can subscribe you can rent, here. You can rent a friend. <laughs> um, and you have to look around the room and find puzzles and codes and unlock you know, unlock things. And almost everyone has like an objective. So you have to know what you're looking for. Sometimes right. you're looking for like a series of numbers or a code. Um, sometimes you're, there's, there's usually a storyline and you're looking for something that isn't. And like anything in the room can be a code. That's the mm -hmm. coolest thing is there'll be like a, it looks like an exit sign, but there's a key hidden in there. So but lots of things much. aren't actually. That's her favorite. Red Those herrings. are called red herrings. And I get like, I like get real dismissive. I'm like, that's a red herring. It's a really heavy fish theme today. What with the, uh, <laughs> the smoked the goldfish wasabi, sushi, sushi, goldfish you know. and all things. Fruit loops. Yeah. And okay. All that. Um, Fruit loops have nothing to do with escape rooms. No. But they all taste they could. the same. All um, escape rooms taste the same. You heard it here first. <laughs> that, I don't want to, anyway. Um, so <laughs> Please don't lick anything don't in the escape, escape room. room. That's one of the rules. So, um, so yeah, so that's the basic premise of escape room. Most escape rooms, you have 60 minutes. And actually, little secret, most escape rooms, you're not really locked in because of fire code reasons, or they'll have an emergency exit. The ones I go to, I like to live on the edge. Like I'm a little really, bit avant-garde really? like that. <laughs> yes, but can you dribble 200 and... 31 basketballs I can. in one minute. Wait, was it? It was three basketballs 231 times? It was a 231. Oh, 231. I, I did say 231 basketballs. Okay, let's keep the sports ball I'm references. So, away from I'm sorry. This is why I can't talk about sports. Anyway, back to the escape room. Yeah. Um, so Mo and I recently did an escape room, and we just wanted to talk about it. It's a local. We're in the, the Northern Virginia, D.C. area, and we wanted to talk about our experience. Now, it's funny when you're talking about an escape room because you can only say so much because you don't want to give away... Any the codes. The codes. No spoiler alerts. Or the secrets. So first of all, we fortunately were the only two people in the escape room. 
And have you ever done an escape room with just one other person? Because I know you've no, done that some was before. My, yeah, I've done escape rooms before. That was my first time doing it. With just, just, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So thanks for oh, that's cool. putting up with me. Yay. This is my rent a fan with a problem. <laughs> problem solving skills. I just sat in the room and you carried did stuff. Not. You did not. No, what was cool about this one, it was actually three rooms. So you had your one room and there's a door. And so you know there's another room and then you have to find a key or some so way. So part of the puzzle is unlocking the other Yeah, so then rooms. we had a key to that one. And then we yes. got into the second room. And the other cool thing was we had to go back to the first room. Mm -hmm. And we did something over there. And that triggered the door to automatically mm -hmm. open from the second and the third room. So, so a lot just... of them are like, there's there's a lot of like combination locks and padlocks with, with keys, with combinations. The directional the slidey ones. ones. I don't like those. I'm never good at them. And then there are like certain... <laughs> <laughs> or red beta fish or that red taste fish just like the purple beta fish <laughs> um and there are other things like where you if you put the right object in the right place it releases a magnet i think those are really cool too um so the, the room that we did was what was the place called room escape fairfax or yeah. escape room fairfax or room fairfax escape, escape room um, any iterations I'll get back to that one, yeah. get there. um and our in our uh what do we call him our dungeon master yeah spencer 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 was awesome. very helpful spencer is the other guy on the other side of the um He's the guy on the um, I'm sorry, talking. it was Room Escape Fairfax. Room Escape Fairfax. I had them yeah. not at all in the right order. So we were allowed to have three questions, three clues, yeah. and I think we used all three of them. We did. I get a little antsy if I'm stuck because I don't like to not be figuring out anything. So if we get stuck, I'll be like, we're using a clue. And some people what? feel like that's cheating, but it's part of the whole experience. Do I sound like I'm justifying? Yep. Um, oh my gosh! But the other—I mean—it's stressful because there's like a clock in 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 all three rooms. There's a clock that's counting down, and there's music playing, and it's it's like this. This is what I like escape rooms for: is that there's like this artificial sense of urgency that's created in yes. that hour, and so it kind of heightens all your personality quirks. It does. I, I so be yeah. careful about who you do escape rooms with, because some people don't want to see all that. I mean, it's some people also verbally process their entire way through the escape room. The entire sorry. I can't think unless I'm talking. Sometimes I can't even think when I'm talking. You heard it there first. Anyway. I'm just glad you said that. But, um, but you did warn me before. I did warn you. And, um, and this I probably is... should have warned you that I had never done one with just one other person. It's a lot this of pressure. This is, I think, but we've, we've done them with other groups. We've done yep. them with our quartet before. Yep. Um, we sing in a quartet together, by the way. There's we'll two other people. We'll talk more about it. Yeah. yeah. They'll be going to be our guests. <laughs> That's right. That's they don't right. know that yet, so. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, so... It's a different. It's a different dynamic each time. You really yeah. have to work together. You really have to kind of divide and conquer. It is a little more pressure with two people than it is with like four or five people. But um, but it's a lot of fun. And I like to rate all the ones that I've done. I, I use a padlock system. Is it a like five stars? Padlock? But no, they're, they're just padlocks. Oh, just it sounds cooler that way. Padlocks. Combination lock sounds like. Me. So I get, like to just throw down like padlocks. <laughs> Yes, because I'm, sure I'm I dropped a pen, I'm but such a thug. Um, but I, I definitely like this one. I give it five, five out of five padlocks. Yeah, it was fun, and it there was, was some really cool. Again, we can't give away too much, but there's some mm -hmm. cool stuff like you put yes. in a thing into a thing, and yeah. then you put a thing into the front thing. Yes, and then this thing that happens. was exactly how it worked. But it, it was, cool. was it was really cool. Yeah, so. so so go to Room Escape Fairfax and check it out yourself because it was really yeah. This cool. was the 1960s room. We've also done Save the White House. Yes, um, did that I like this ago. one better. Yeah. Um, also, I really like when a room stays true to its era. So this took place in the 60s and like they had, you know, like rotary telephones. So what those are, kids, is <laughs> um, typewriters and it, it really... Ashtrays. Ashtrays, yes. <laughs> it was an ashtray. There's a lot of ashtrays in the workplace <laughs> in this year. What year is it? 20? I'll take things I don't see anymore Yeah, 100, yeah. Alex. So it was, it was very true to theme and um, even the color scheme felt very 60s. Yeah. Of course, neither of us were alive in the 60s, but we've heard rumors. That we were alive? <laughs> no, about what the 60s were like. Oh, yeah, you hippies. Yes. Yeah, so. No, I'm married to somebody who was all that. in the 60s. Okay, so I'm married. Like. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hippies. The tail end of the done. 60s. Yeah, well, you know. So both of our spouses were born in 69. Still so. hippies. Yeah. Still hippies. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Peace and tie dye and all that. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to move on now to. Um, uh, we're going to do a little round of this or that. Oh, this is okay. my glasses. So we're going to take turns, and you have to just go with your gut. Okay. I might try to guess some of yours. Oh, yeah? This might be a little quiz for me. We'll see how well. Okay. And um, you just have to go with your gut. It's just that... And play along at home. We yeah. have the home... We sell the home version of this game. <laughs> Not really. It's anyway. still in production. That's right. And by production, we mean we don't have it yet. <laughs> That's right. Um, okay. Right. I'm ready. 
Roses or daisies? Daisies. Ooh. Ho, ho. Pandas or whales? <sighs> Pandas. McDonald's better. or Burger King? Uh, Burger King. I am not doing well. You're not. Books or magazines? Books. Circles or squares? That's a weird question. Circles. I knew that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ketchup or mustard? Mustard. Ew. I don't like mustard. I'll tell you why. There's a story, but I won't tell it right now. Why are... I Mu didn't judge it. <laughs> okay. The next this round, not, be ready. It's not about me. Apparently it is. Money or fame? Money. Money. Oh, wow. Ooh, that I was didn't expect that. <laughs> what just came out of my mouth? Skates or a bike? You have to pick one. Skates. Skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding. Watch or play sports? Watch play. sports or play sports? Play. Okay. All right. Swim in a pool or in the sea? Pool. Why? Because I didn't grow up. That seems weird. I mean, the sea is so much bigger. But there are and waves and salt water. Taken care no. Of. So let me tell uh, you a quick story. Let me, no, let me just tell you something real quick. I grew up in central Ohio. There's no ocean in central Ohio. We will do a geography segment later, but trust me, there's no ocean. So the first time we went to the ocean, we like were, there are waves and there's, they're pushing us down and it's salty. What is happening here? So I, the pool. Salty little, like mustard or? Ew, mustard's not. Keep going. <laughs> Anyway, next question. Welcome to our first and final episode <laughs> of the Mo and Katie show. It seemed like such a good idea. I know, until I know. you started judging my Aww. condiment choice. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Cars or trucks? Cars. Leather or lace? Lace? <laughs> All right, your turn. Shower or tub? Tub. Really? No. <laughs> Ask me again. <laughs> Shower or tub? Tub. <laughs> TV shows or movies? Oh, that's a tough one. Movies. Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. Bananas or apples? Apples. Facebook or Twitter? Facebook. Okay, that's it. We're done. Did I win? I, I you did. did. You won. You won the speed round. Nice. Yes. All right, well, again, as I mentioned at the beginning of our epic show, <laughs> one of the things that's really important to us is gratitude. We just want to share with you a quote about gratitude. Thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude. Gratitude is the completion of thankfulness. Hmm, it's kind of deep. Thankfulness may consist merely of words. Gratitude is shown in acts. Ooh, I like that. Henry Frederick Amiel. Wow, that's very avant-garde. Isn't that good? It is. It is very avant-garde. <laughs> just like our little basketball friend. Oh, she's a so, star. Yeah, she is. So... That's it. Awesome. I yeah. love it. Well, I will sign off and I will just say, uh, be thankful, keep laughing, and stay positive. And thank you for tuning in to the Mo and Katie show. Yay. Okay. Bye. Bye.